as I continue to declutter, it does free up some space mentally for me because I don't have to constantly think about what needs to be done or how much I have to clean. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Brittany with Bits of Brit Leveling Up. I do post new videos every Monday about my journey with my physical, mental, financial, and spiritual health. Today's video is going to be a declutter. I have been doing this little bit of declutter here and there for the last few weeks, and this is what I have been able to come up with. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so in this declutter, you can see I have another um, placemat here I'm getting rid of. I am getting rid of my second glass Voss bottle and then um, obviously we haven't been able to do anything because of COVID so we're going to go ahead and just get rid of our beer boots, a filter that does not fit our car, um, that old OxyClean thing, that bottle does not work anymore so we're getting rid of that. And then that spray, the bottle doesn't work either. And then the box to the headphones. We were going to keep that. I'm not sure why. <laughs> we're going to get rid of that as well. Um, the popcorn tin, I was going to go ahead and hang on to that for storage for camping. But I'm not sure, actually. Who knows? <laughs> I went through some more of my craft or kids craft stuff that I have. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some stickers, some stencils. Um, and... Yeah, <laughs> I have a toothbrush that I use for cleaning, um, a, the duck's whistle, and then an old keychain thing. Um, well, it's not a legit keychain. I pretty much made it. Um, two dryer vent thingies, um, my old mirror that broke, another headband that I found in my downstairs bathroom, and then when my husband got injured from flag football, I got that as a joke for him. <laughs> he didn't really use it. Um, an old pair of socks, and then some random paper things that I found in one of the baskets. We have some window markers and some bingo daubers and window marker things. And then just some random stuff. Like I don't need that car plug-in or that door holder. I don't need those medicine things or I don't know what that little ball is. I'm, I have a scratcher thing already. I don't need all of those. I'm not sure why we have them. Some random stuff there. Um, and then we have a basket, or two baskets that I'm getting rid of. One's broken, and I'm just not going to use this one. And then we did change out our shower curtain, and our the one that I got from Walmart did come with these, but I like the other ones better, so I'm going to hold on to that. Um, an old candle thing that had sand in it in our upstairs bathroom, I think, with some sand dollars or some shells. I'm going to go ahead and give that purse back to one of my friends because I borrowed it a long time ago. And then we have three shelves there um, that came from my bathroom. Those two came from the upstairs one and that was the downstairs one. So yes for decluttering. Um, I did also want to touch that this little basket right there is in our living room and that's going to be our declutter basket. Um, so anytime myself or my husband want to get rid of something, we'll just go ahead and put it in that basket so that it'll just going to be easier for us. Um, yeah, so that's what we have. Okay, so a few more declutter items. So those two chairs are all rusted and um, it looks like one part's caving in. I'm getting rid of this mop. It's pretty bad. And then that dustpan. And I can't decide if I'm going to keep that and just put it in a bin to hold for when we get a yard. Obviously, I'll clean it up. Another declutter here is a whiteboard and then my crazy amount of pens like I definitely don't need eight pens and I'm not gonna lie I am still keeping some and I am keeping these four here so that I can have them for our weekly menu thing Alrighty, so for this declutter we have a lot of bags and some random stuff Starting up here, we have an old basket that I found in the back of the closet, an empty box, a weird old vision board that I made that I don't know why I did. Um, this thing is all gross in there. And then that old paper, I'm not sure what that's from. Some candles, they don't burn very well. Well, that one did. And then in brush, I got a new one. Some old papers that I found in that binder. Get rid of that binder. And then some cute mustache fingers. And then we have two bags that I never honestly actually used. <laughs> they were hand-me-downs. 
Um, and then this one and that suitcase is broken. Hello, pair. And then this is ripped right there. We had five grocery bag things that were used, um, I think a few times. Don't use them anymore. Have other ones. Never use that or that or that. That is way used. I replaced that, so that's another replacement item. And then we have those two pillowcases, pillowcase cover thingies. Um, but yeah, so anytime I'm buying something, I'm throwing out something of that same item. So like the brush and the makeup bag thing, since I bought new ones of those, I'm getting rid of them. Well, that's what we have. It may not seem like much, but as I accumulate all the different things to declutter, there is so many different things. I think total here, I have about a hundred items, give or take, um, and that's not including my clothes declutter. So that video is going to be on Wednesday. I'm so excited for that. I'm hoping as soon as I have that all done, I'll be able to order some side tables and a dresser and maybe have a video of me redoing a room on a budget. Budget. I don't know. Everything's on a budget. I've been told I was cheap or poor or whatever I was told. Um, but I like to think I'm frugal. Like I was taught to coupon and save money and do all these things. So all the money that you're spending on stuff because you're not willing to save a dollar here or there adds up. Suckers. <laughs> Anywho, I'm glad I went on that mini tangent. I appreciate you guys being here and watching my journey as I continue to declutter. It does free up some space mentally for me because I don't have to constantly think about what needs to be done or how much I have to clean. And it makes my cleaning tasks go by so much quicker. I will have a video in the next few weeks about my Sunday to-do list and how it's minimized and where I'm at now and how long it takes me compared to how long it used to take me. Bye guys, I appreciate you being here. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about where to get started with decluttering or what I have done so far, I'll go ahead and link my videos down below.